Apparently. Why do we have a chorus man? Listen to this. That's no, called Dimitar. 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 Me. <laughs> We all know that football takes skill, but behind every skill, there's also science. So what's the science behind the throw-in? Great throw-ins can play a vital role in the game, like this. First, how do you condition your body? Here's top football scientist, Dr. Neil Smith. The link is going to be between your upper and lower body, because this is what is going to generate our momentum and our power. Next, what exactly do you do with your arms? Well, most players tend to throw the ball at approximately 30 degrees into the air. And whilst this might be best for us, it might not necessarily be best for football. If we look at some of the better players, like Rory Delac, he throws it around about 20 degrees from the horizontal. So how does it all come together? We use our large muscle groups of our lower extremity, like our legs, transfer this through our belly and our core, and then this ends up in the smaller muscle groups of our arms and our hands. Finally, to make the ball go that bit further, that's it. Yes, we can put backspin on the ball to help the ball travel just that little bit further. What happens is we generate a difference in pressure between the top and the bottom of the ball, enabling it to travel or lift upon the air, travelling further with a flatter trajectory. Now we're throwing the ball lower and flatter. Instead of throwing the ball around about 40 miles an hour, we have to throw it around about 60 miles an hour for it to reach the danger area to have a chance to score the goal. So the throwing, it's all about body position, the throw itself, and backspin. Here we go. Okay, up a bit, up a bit, up a bit. Bend your elbows. Down. Down a bit, down a bit, down a bit. Ow! Are you sure your arms are the same length? Are you serious? Get on like 20 degrees or not? Yeah, you're right there, throw. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah. That didn't really work, did it? Oh. You sure it's all about angles? Wait. Try me that. The wonder from White Hart Lane, the Sheffield lad who's graced the grounds of Middlesbrough, Leicester, and Norwich City. 21 pins stand between him and sporting legend, with only 21 balls to send them flying. Has Kyle Norton got what it takes to conquer TV's trickiest pro football challenge? <laughs> So the big question for Kyle is, can he go at least one better than his teammate Kyle Walker? 18 pins. It's a lovely start. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No, ten pins with one ball. Extraordinary. And a first for this series. He's taking a nice single at the front there. And another. Eat your heart out, Kyle Walker. The kid's on fire. Right, has Kyle Morton from Spurs beating Kyle Walker and Spurs? Oh, 18 pins each, it's a draw. But Norton's slower. There we go. Get, get him underneath. 